What's up guys, David here with another episode. We're gonna use ChatGPT to create a front end using React.js and a back end using Node.js. Let's get started. So I have Visual Studio Code on the right and the ChatGPT uh, window open on the left. So let's do uh, code in Node.js and API that uh, generates a random whole number between 1 and 100 and allow a post request to regenerate a different number, uh, modify the code, uh, actually include a fix for the cores error, and let's just run that and see what we get. So here we go, here's an example Im implementation of a simple API in Node.js, it generates a random number between 1 and 100 and allows for a new number to be generated via POST request. This implementation also includes a fix for the cores cross-origin resource sharing error. Okay, so the cores error, you'll get it when you're trying to communicate your Node.js and your React.js because they're on different ports trying to communicate with each other on your local hosts or whatever. Just look it up, ask ChatGPT to explain it. Uh, okay, so we copy it. Uh, let's create a new file, uh, app.js. I don't think I added it to the folder. There we go, okay, so in there, paste it in there, save. Uh, let's do npm install express. So we're gonna uh, download all the uh, dependencies and packages npm install cores um, and then I think we can just run it node app.js okay so now it's running on port 300 and if we refresh look at that we get a random number all right that's pretty sweet um, already. So now, now, uh, code in react.js, a button that sends the post request to the node.js server. Let's see what it gives us like this. Here an ex here is an example of an implementation of a button in React that says a post request to the Node.js server when clicked. So it'll post it to the forward slash regenerate. So I wonder if we go here, regenerate. Yeah, cannot get, but there you go. There's one of the numbers. All right. So now that we have our React app, we copy that. Um, we're gonna open up a new terminal. We are just in the main folder. We're gonna go npx create-react- I think it's app. We'll just do front and all right, so now it's creating a boilerplate or a template that we can use um, for the front end. So that's gonna take like a minute to, to generate. So while that's generating, we can open up the folder, we can see that it's working. Let's see what it says here. So we have a click handler that sends a post request to um, our server, forward slash regenerate. And then it has a little button, and then it says regenerate number. 
we should probably add um, a use effect or make it re-render each time the button is pressed. So we'll see how it looks like and then we'll ask ChatGPT to, to modify the React code to re-render the page after every button press. Um, so let's just wait here. All right, nope. Looked like it was almost done. There it goes, happy hacking right here. Happy hacking, okay, sweet. All right, so now let's change the directory to the front end. So now we're in here. Um, hmm. Okay, now let's do npm install. Okay. And so now we go into the app.js file and we copy the code, paste it in there. Let's see if this works. npm run start. Okay, then it's gonna ask for a different port, say yes. All right, and now it's going to port 300 and, or 3001. Regenerate number. Sweet. Look, 17, 75. Okay, so this is the server on um, port 3000. And then here's our front end on 3001. So when you refresh it, it goes to zero, that number. But when you push it, it generates that code. The first one, okay, so let's see. 58, 96, let's refresh it, 96. I mean, that's pretty sweet. We have a server running in the background that generates a code, I mean, uh, a number, a random number, and a button that displays the number right there. I mean, that's pretty great. We have a back end and a front end. So what you can do next is um, link it to a database like MongoDB and keep the numbers stored in there and have it feed it to the node uh, JS server, manipulate it and spit it out into your front end app here and then move data back and forth and you can use that um, example uh, and you can use chat GPT to help you do that but basically here we we are we made it we have a front working front end and a working back end using chat GPT and node.js and react.js congratulations you are now a developer. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, uh, share, share the video, and I hope you enjoy it, and happy hacking.